Hey everyone, it's Scott here at FastView. We're often asked, Sophos UTM has its own built-in reporting, so why do we need Sophos Reporter? So I thought I'd just go through a few examples of what Sophos Reporter can help you with on a day-by-day -day basis that you really can't get from the UTM itself. So the first question that people often want to know is, who is my most unproductive web user? Now in the UTM reports, you can run a report showing your top users and top sites for a category, uh, such as the adult category or the gambling category, but you can only do this one by one, which isn't great when it comes to just getting an overall picture of your organization's productivity. So here's the productivity dashboard. And right here we see we have a section called the top unproductive users. So that answers the question right away. I can see that Anakin Skywalker is my most unproductive web user. So what is an unproductive web user? If you click the customize productivity settings button here in the top right, we have a very intuitive screen that just simply lets you drag and drop the web categories from Sophos UTM onto the right productivity list. This is certainly something you cannot do in the UTM itself. So for example, let's say we're a internet services company. So let's drag the internet services category onto productive. Uh, but let's say we don't want people spending all their time uh, on YouTube and media sharing, so let's make that unproductive. And you can just scan through this list of acceptable categories, for example, and drag and drop categories into the right productivity list. Then just hit save productivity settings, and from that point on, anything shown on the dashboard or in your reports will be categorized as productive or unproductive, or acceptable or unacceptable. The second reporting question that's really difficult, if not impossible to get from the UTM itself, is when did a user access a particular website, or when did some certain uh, web browsing activity occur? So if we take the example again of my most unproductive uh, web user, and just hover over them and click run report, we can see that we've got a very intuitive report about this user's browsing. Uh, such as how much they downloaded, what their top site was, their top app and the top category and so on. And down the side here we've got more information intuitively categorized into bandwidth, productivity, web protection and network. Now this is my most unproductive web user, so let's go to the productivity section. So you can see that they're browsing acceptably, unproductively and productively, all in equal portions really. So let's go and find out more about the unproductive browsing and we'll go to the unproductive browsing by site section. Okay, so you can see this user in particular likes this mushroomgeeks.com site. So imagine for a moment that this is a school student and you wanna know what class they're in when they're accessing this website. So let's just hover over the site. You can see it's gonna run a new report on mushroomgeeks.com, also filtered by the user that we ran a report on previously. And I'm gonna run an activity report. Okay, and this is an activity report for this user on this site. You can see most of the activity happened between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. So we can go to those times and click on the rows in these reports to see exactly when they were browsing. So for example, in the hour of 9 o'clock, they started browsing at 9 o'clock and finished browsing at 9.49 uh, with a total browsing time of 9 minutes. So sometime during that hour, their sessions added up to about nine minutes of pure browsing time. And you can see the, uh, the scripts, the images, the icons and so on that they downloaded from that site. So it's very easy in Sophos Reporter to find exactly when something happened. Whereas in the Sophos UTM reports, the timestamp is actually scrubbed from the reporting database. So there's no way to get that information without going to the log files themselves. The third question you can answer with Sophos Reporter is what unproductive websites are actually being allowed through the UTM? So if I go to the productivity section, we have some sections here for allowed undesirable sites. Now these are all sites that have been classified as unproductive or unacceptable that the UTM has actually allowed and not blocked. We've also got allowed undesirable applications and allowed undesirable categories and you can run a report on any of these to find out more information. For example, uh, let's go to the smokeface.com website which is being allowed through the UTM and I want to know why. So I'm going to hover over this site and run a report on it. Okay, so here's the report on smokeface.com. You can see how much data people are downloading from this site, who the top user is, 
who all the users are that are accessing smokeface.com, including departments from Active Directory and so on. But I really wanna know why is it being allowed through the UTM? So the best place to go is the web protection section of this report. That's gonna show me that most of the traffic to this site is passed and some of it is being blocked. But the next section is filter actions. And this is actually showing me the policies that I've configured in Sophos UTM that are both blocking and allowing the traffic. So the bottom three here are blocking the traffic and the top two are allowing it. So you can see I have a rule for allow privileged users and also another rule which is time for fun. Okay, it's a time-based rule to allow more open access. So if I want to know more about who's using this policy to access this site, I can simply hover over it, run another overview report to see the top users, top categories and so on. But I want some more forensic detail about when that activity occurred, so I'm going to run an activity report. All right, so here's my activity report on smokeface.com uh, when accessed through the time for fun policy. So we can see all of the users, we can see that everything was allowed and we can click on the rows in this report to see more information such as the images the scripts and so on that they actually accessed exactly when they accessed it how it was categorized and whether it was allowed or blocked the fourth question that sophos reporter can answer that's really hard to answer with the utm reports is what productive sites are being blocked by the utm the utm can show you all of the sites that it's blocking without a problem but which ones of those are potentially productive to users in your organization? So on the productivity dashboard, we have this section for blocked acceptable browsing. So anything that you've categorized as productive or acceptable that is being blocked will be shown here in this table. So for example, uh, IMR Worldwide has been classified as finance and banking, and it is also productive, and that is being blocked. Uh, likewise, we, we have Forbes.com, which is finance and banking again, which is being blocked. So let's just hover over finance and banking and run a report on that category. Okay, so now we have an overview report on the finance and banking category. Uh, and again, the usual information is here, such as the top users accessing that category, when they're accessing it and so on. But I want to know why Sophos UTM is blocking the traffic. So let's go down to actions under the web protection section. And you can see most of it is being allowed, but some of it is being blocked. 5% is being blocked. And so here in the filter actions, we can see that the policies responsible for blocking the traffic are these. Protect users from nasties, conserve bandwidth, and prevent time wasting. So again, we can hover over a block and run an activity report to see when exactly traffic to the finance and banking category is being blocked. So now I've got a detailed activity report of uh, who's being blocked and also whether it's a virus or just because the web request was, was simply blocked by the access rule. Now let's imagine you've just configured a new policy in Sophos UTM, one to allow users more unrestricted access to the web during non-work hours and lunch breaks. You would like to monitor exactly how that policy is being used, uh, but unfortunately Sophos UTM's inbuilt reports don't give you the ability to report on, on policies. So we fixed that in Sophos Reporter. You can simply come to the web protection dashboard and in the middle here we have the filter actions or policies that you've configured in, in Sophos UTM. So here's my time for fun filter action that I've configured to allow people access to more sites during non-work hours. So I'm just gonna click time for fun and run a report on that filter action. All right, so I can very easily see what users are going through that action, when the action is in use. But what I really want to know is, is this policy being abused? So let's jump down to the productivity section of the report. More specifically, let's go to the unproductive browsing by site section. And I can see all of the sites that are being accessed by this policy. I can also go to unproductive browsing by user to see which users are really taking advantage of this policy as well. All right, now everything I've shown you so far has involved going to a live dashboard, hovering over something that I see and clicking run report, which is all nice and easy and fairly straightforward. But let's say you get a request from a department manager or a HR person that says, I would like to receive a regular report about my department. I wanna know what my employees are doing on the web uh, with a nice report every week. 
Well, the dashboard's probably not where you want to come for that. You can go straight to the reports tab. And we have three types of reports that you can choose from. We have overview reports, user overview reports, and activity reports. So what I would like to do is click overview report. Then I'm going to click the filter report button. And I've got access to absolutely everything that Sophos UTM logs, as well as anything that Sophos Reporter has imported from Active Directory, such as departments. So I'm going to select a department equal to bounty hunters. And I'm going to add another filter here for category not equal to web ads because no one likes to see web ads in their reports. And I'm going to go one step further and type in productivity equal to unproductive and unacceptable. So it's going to be a report on the unproductive browsing by bounty hunters without web ads. Now, I could run this report now. I just need to select a date range and hit run report. But my department manager has asked for this every week. So I'm going to click schedule report. I'm going to give it a more sensible name, such as bounty hunters report. And I'm going to schedule this for every week and send this to Greedo at mycompany.com. And that report has now been scheduled. Now, let's say, for example, that you're more of a network admin person rather than a department manager. Something you might like to try is selecting source IP in subnet, and then enter a subnet expression such as 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So that will give you a report on the, the dot one subnet in your organization. Again, filtered for unproductive and unacceptable browsing without web ads. So we can just hit schedule report, call it my network report, and maybe you want to receive this one every month. We'll send that to the network manager at mycompany.com. And scheduling reports is really as simple as that. Now, as Sophos Reporter is consuming live syslog data coming from the Sophos UTM, one thing we can do is monitor that for suspicious activity and send you an alert in real time. Now if you go to the alerts tab you'll see some alerts that come straight out of the box with Sophos Reporter such as threats detected that will send you the threat name, the user, where they downloaded the threat such as the virus from and what Sophos UTM did with that. Uh, we also have some unproductive browsing alerts so here you can see Darth Maul has been browsing unproductively. It'll pull out all of the websites he's been going to along with the category and the size. And we also have a custom alert that I created called Greedo on Facebook. So this is a specific user going to a specific site uh, and we can see how much he's downloaded and when he's browsed there. Now I'll click the configure alerts button and you can see how this works. Here's all of the alerts that come with the application and I can just simply edit the unproductive browsing alert, for example. So you can see that it will alert you when the browsing is unproductive and the Sophos UTM has allowed the traffic and the total bytes is greater than 30 meg. Now I don't care if someone downloads 30 meg of unproductive traffic over the course of a year, but I do care if they do it in under 30 minutes. So there's a time window here that you can specify. You can also select what you would like to see when the alert fires. So maybe you would like to see the site instead of the user. And once the alert does fire, we can choose what exactly we want to see. So we'll have the timestamp, we can choose the user, the site, category, Maybe we want to see what department this user is a member of, so we'll add that as a column, and probably even the filter action that allowed the traffic. And then we can simply email these alerts to whoever you need to manage unproductive browsing on your network. So there you have it, they're the top seven questions or things that you can do with Sophos Reporter that you can't achieve with the inbuilt UTM reports. So please download the 30-day trial, give it a go, and let's see what problems you can solve using Sophos Reporter.